This has been an awesome night, isn't it, everyone? Just for me. How many of you like Negro spirituals? An old black lady down south showed me something about the Negro spirituals, and I want to share it with you. Uh, you know, the black folk down south had more sense by accident than some of us have on purpose. You know what I mean? You didn't hear what I said. I heard an old black lady say, son, if the mountain was smooth, you couldn't climb it. Uh-huh. Think about that for a minute. But did you know, she said to me, did you know all, just about all Negro spirituals are written on the black notes of the piano? <laughs> this is absolutely true. You can go home tonight and play almost any Negro spiritual, just play the black notes on the piano. You look skeptical. Now, you can't see it out there, but I want you to watch. Watch. There are five black notes on the piano. And those same five black notes just keep recurring. You can go home tonight and play almost any Negro spiritual. Just play the black notes. Watch. You know that? Every time I feel the spirit. Just black notes. Watch this. That's because the slaves didn't come to America with do, re, mi, fa, so, la, di, do. That's somebody else's scale, okay? All they had in their musical scale were those five black notes. We know it in music as the pentatonic scale. And they built the power and pathos of the Negro spiritual on five notes. When you study music, you also come across what are known as white spirituals. Did you know that? And they are white composers who work with those that scale, in early America, they used to call this the slave scale. And I'm going to play for you what some musicologists think is the most famous white spiritual built on the slave scale or just the black notes. Anybody tonight know who wrote that song? I heard it, a man by the name of John Newton. But do you know what John Newton did before he became a Christian? He was the captain of a slave ship. And many believe heard this melody that sounds very much like a West African sorrow chant and wrote the words Amazing Grace and set his words to a slave. Melody. I looked up that song. I believe God wanted that song written just the way it was written, just so that we would be reminded that as Christians, whether black or white, free or bond, in his eyes, we're all connected. We are connected. And we are connected by God's amazing grace. We are connected by God's amazing grace. Woo! I looked up that song in the Library of Congress. I looked up, I went to the Library of Congress, I looked up that song, and wherever you see it authentically printed, you know what it says? Words, John Newton, melody unknown. Tell the Lord, when I get to heaven, I want to meet Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, but boy, I want to meet that slave called unknown. <laughs> and I, and I, I, I recorded that song the way I hear it when I sing it. I still hear the sounds of the slave ships in the water. I want to sing it for you the way John Newton probably first heard it coming up out of the belly of the ship. 
Jesus. Ten pounds. 